Dear Arsene Banner, I'm writing to you in relation to the current situation at Arsenal, as well as the state of affairs at the club with our transfers, our tactics, and most of all, the result yesterday at Liverpool where we lost 4 0. My name is Chris. Um, I run a, uh, a YouTube channel um, which is irrelevant today. I've been an Arsenal fan for 30 years, although, as my mum would say, I was an Arsenal fan as soon as she found out she was pregnant. My mum is Arsenal through and through. Um, she had a flat opposite our beautiful Highbury Stadium, um, looking over it and also watching the occasional game. Um, and I went to quite a few games at Highbury. Um, it's a stadium I miss every single day. It means a lot to me. Um, and means a lot to my family, generally. Um, when we moved from the stadium, we were promised by you and your executive team that we would be competing with the likes of Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, etc, etc. I remember, and I grew up in a time where Arsenal were the big dogs of the, of the league. One of two. The other being Manchester United. In fact, to be honest, even before that, I remember growing up where we were competing with the likes of Liverpool, Anfield 89. Not that I remember it that well, I was four years old. But I remember how happy it made my mum. I am upset with the state of affairs at our club. I'm upset with our lack of transfer activity. I'm upset with the way we seem to be treated as fans, not customers, fans of the football club. I'm upset that nobody seems to come out and ever make a statement. And I don't mean a player. I don't mean Murta Saka or Theo Walcott. I mean someone like an executive. Dare I ask a Stan, an Ivan, not with promises, with explanations as to what has happened. Yesterday was unacceptable in any walk of life. And I don't just mean for a big club, I mean for any walk of life. To not have a single shot on target all game against a, a, a suspect goalkeeper is, to me, is unforgivable. Now, whilst I appreciate that a couple of people's PR teams have put together statements for the likes of Aaron Ramsey and Meza Ozil, who have apologised, that still doesn't mean anything to us as an Arsenal fan base. It's really hard to address this because this is very easily dis dismissible by you guys. We feel, we feel, as Arsenal fans, that we're often dismissed, that we're often held in con with contempt, that we're seen as a minority. I need you, Arsene Wenger, to understand this. We're not a minority anymore. There are a large portion of disgruntled Arsenal fans. There shouldn't be an Arsenal fan that would be that would accept what happened yesterday. There shouldn't be an Arsenal fan that should be happy with what happened yesterday. I need you to understand that this isn't the media working up an Arsenal fan. I can only speak for myself when I say this. 
that I personally don't wait for a pundit to tell me what I've already seen. That I personally don't read a paper to wait for an editor to tell me what I've already seen. This is a very real problem. A problem that we've been worried about and warning for so long. We need you to address it. Now, I'm going to be honest with you because I believe out of respect it's important that I should be honest with you. I don't want you as an Arsenal manager. I've not always been against you. Not at all. Not even close. You may have the likes of people like Pierce Morgan that will come out and tell you how they've wanted you out of the club for near, nine on ten years now. That isn't me. I actually gave up hope with you two years ago when you signed Petr Cech. Because in that summer, that was the only bit of business we'd done. That you felt that a team who'd finished well off the title, the title, uh, the, the title winners, that the only bit of business that we needed was a goalkeeper in order to make us challenge, Tell, told me that enough is enough, it's time to go. I desperately wanted you to walk away last year because I felt that the environment was being toxic. It wasn't good for the players. It certainly wasn't good for us. And it wasn't good for our perception of the club. The perception that the media have over the club. Because whether you like to admit it or not, they are extremely important in this situation. I don't like the way we're perceived among football fans. And the media is an important tool in that respect. And such a thing would have been solved by your departure. Watching Arsenal yesterday, I felt so numb. So heartbroken. So irritated. So angry. But more than anything, so disappointed. The rightful thing to do in a situation like this, in my honest opinion, is to leave the football club. I personally would love you to hand, your, hand in your notice and do it now, during the international break. Realistically, I understand you will not do this. I would even accept the reasons as to why you would not do this. What I will not accept as an Arsenal fan is if you choose to let these four days go by without fixing this issue. You need to bring in players. This is not just about selling them. You've had all summer to sell players. This is about bringing in players. As I record this right now, Liverpool have launched a bid for Lamar. A £55 million bid. Now, I know you don't think it will be accepted. I almost guarantee it will be accepted. Because I just have this feeling that you guys have been low-balling Monaco. And Monaco have quite rightly said... Go away. If I have a house and I don't want it sold below a certain number, I have every right to say, no, I'm not going to sell it at that number. That does not mean I don't want to sell the house as you're trying to claim. That means, no, raise it to the price that I'm asking for. Because when it comes to top players... You have to play that premium. You just have to. 
Just like if I have a house, a four or five bedroom house and it's in London, sorry, you have to pay that premium. Considering what happened yesterday, it's very apparent to me that we need to bring in players who are going to help the club. That means that if there are players that want to leave, let them leave. Likes of Mustafi, at this point, Alexis, it's not going to be a popular decision, but Alexis... And Ox. I love Oxley Chamberlain. I think he's got all the talent in the world. But you have an insistence of playing him in the incorrect position. Which is a lot of the reason why I'm sure he doesn't feel like he can stay anymore. If he really wants to go. Then please let him go. I, for one, am an Arsenal fan who wants players that want to play for the club to stay here and play for the club. But most of all, I don't want us to be humiliated like that. You have four days to save our season. Four. And we're halfway through one already. You should be able to get your very expensive, very highly paid team together and get your shit together. And I apologise because I promised I wasn't going to swear in this letter. Please, let's do what we need to do. If Ox wants to go, let him go. If Mustafi wants to go, let him go. But go out there and get the players that are going to get us to the level that we need to get to. We're probably not going to win the league. I'm, I almost accept that at this stage. What I want us to do is challenge for the league. And then if, as a result of challenging in that league, we end up in the top four, great. But at least let's have the foundation of a team that's at least going to compete. Or, hell, I'll take this. That's at least not going to humiliate us the way they did yesterday. I hope that that's captured your attention. I hope that by some fluky, very unlikely... I've got more chance of winning the lottery type of way that you see this and it touches you. But please, don't let those four days go by and not do anything. Lift this fan base. You were once the professor, the master Just show, show us one more magic trick. Show us that you can do this. Show us that you signing a two year contract that I'm wrong and that thousands of people are wrong and that you are capable of challenging for this league, of winning the Premier League. We can't do that with this. So please, please Arsene. Please, if you want me to get on my knees as an Arsenal fan, I will beg you and go out and get some players. With respect, please. We, we need help. And unfortunately, no matter how much we cry and pray and scream and shout at that board, you are the only man that can do something about this. You are the only man who can fix this situation. And then if you do get the players, please, in Jesus' name, please, play those players in the correct 
positions. Play our fifty-two million pound striker, a striker that you you spent years, years scouting. Surely you believe he's good enough to pay fifty-two million pound for him. Play him. Don't play a guy who, as much as I personally love that guy, don't play a guy who is incapable of taking chances and leaving the man who does take chances on the bench. I mean, my gosh. That's like stubbing a toe and then deciding to twist your ankle to make it be- to, 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 to make it even. Poor example. That one that part wasn't on the letter. Vena, I'm hoping that this touches you. I'm hoping that someone gets this to you. I I'm nothing. I'm an Arsenal fan. Expressing my opinion and this will probably be laughed off. But as an Arsenal fan, we're not happy. I'm I'm scared. I'm terrified. I'm scared of you. And I'm scared of no man. I'm a big, big boy. And I'm scared of no man, but I am scared of you. I'm scared of if you let these four days go by and not do anything, what is what will come off my club? Please. Please, Arsene, please. Respectfully, please. Go out there and fix this issue. Go out there and save our season. Go out there and recapture, recapture that Arsene Wenger who came to the club 21 years ago. Maybe you can still do it. Maybe. All right. I'm going to sign off. Yours sincerely, Chris.